Hi, my name is Bart Hendricks. Today I'm going to be speaking on the topic of quantitative systems pharmacology. This lecture is intended as an overview of quantitative systems pharmacology. Uh, the goal is to understand, to, ha to have you understand what is meant by quantitative systems pharmacology, understand some of the core concepts, and understand how it's been put to use and its impact that it's had uh, to so far. Throughout the talk, I'm going to provide lots of examples, mostly taken from oncology, although not exclusively so. Uh, and you also see throughout the talk, there'll be a lot of references on the slide that I would encourage interested people to follow up with um, to get more detail on some of the, the material that's presented. I also may uh, refer to quantitative systems pharmacology as QSP throughout the talk as, as a shorthand. Just by way of disclosure, uh, I'm employed by Mar Merrimack Pharmaceuticals, and I've uh, got stock options there as well. So in 2011, the NIH had a workshop on this topic and, and put together a white paper that had some nice, nice quotes in it. And I won't read the entire quote here, but just, just the highlighted section, which are meant to illustrate the need for quantitative systems pharmacology. There's an urgent need to reinvigorate academic pharmacology. It remains difficult to translate preclinical discoveries into meaningful medical progress. The reinvigoration of pharmacology can best be accomplished, in our opinion, by introducing concepts, methods, and investigators from computational biology, systems biology, and biological engineering. 